Thank you for coming in over here again, checking out the channel. Stop by all the time. I'm so grateful for the support. I want to give it back. I'm here to help. Anything you want to talk about, any questions you have, I'm here. Comment, like, let me know that you're here supporting me. I'm going to pray for a moment and meditate. Know that this is for the collective, for the all of you connecting with me and through me and I pray for the best intentions for all. Now let me share with you some clearing energy. It is a bell so if you're opposed to bell sounds or it's too loud just take note for a moment. You should probably take a deep breath. And think about your questions. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to begin with astrological oracle cards. One or two is what I'm asking for to start off our reading, and then I'm going to use three types of tarot and runes. So I hope you'll stick with me. Be patient. We have to think about this energy that we're exchanging and connecting, and the messages I feel it there. I want one more. Oh, these two for sure. Yeah, okay, Mars is definitely at play, and Neptune, water and fire energy represented here, and I'm going to <clears throat> explain the detailed meaning, but I can tell you that Neptune is in Pisces in retrograde right now, and now that we're in Scorpio season, hmm... I feel for water signs it's intensified and then Mars is kicking up the energy to take action sometimes to be feisty if I could use the right term even angry emotional with these two combined just be careful of that intuitively go through this time this fall season being as patient as you can with everyone around you and prepare, be prepared. <clears throat> Just, you know, simple things in life like you would anytime when you're preparing for winter. Just go into it with that energy. Now, when you see these two together also, sorry, I can't hold everything. The wise warrior knows when it is time to lay down the sword and work towards peace. Find that wisdom within yourself. Exactly what I intuitively told you. You may feel emotional around this time. It's the holidays in North America, blah, blah, blah. That being said, you have every right to feel the way you do. Of course. But work through that energy yourself. Don't take it out on other people. And that will benefit you immensely and all those around you. All right. Next, we're going to use Spirit Song Tarot from Paulina Cassidy. These are amazing. All right, let's go. Also, this is a very important time to take care of your health. We know that, um, but I want to reiterate that. And in doing so, you'll feel better physically and mentally, less apt to anger or make 
hasty decisions or get overly emotional. You'll be able to find balance if you take care of yourself each day. All right. I'm looking for um, what? What? Okay. I'm looking for what you're going to do in the next few days. I'm sorry, I am channeling something. I've never done this before. Next few days, Ace of Crystals, what the outcome will be, Seven of Acorns, and then we're going to do messages from your guides. Six of Feathers, Dragonfly Tran. Wow, amazing. Ace of Crystals is Pentacles beginning. You're going to dig deep and manifest these dreams. And they're not going to be pipe dreams. They may have felt like that before, but now you know how you're going to do it. And it's going to take determination and stamina. This is you now. This is you coming up. Seven of Wands. Crystals, pentacles, earth energy, wands, fire energy. And what your guides need to know is you need to transform be free, be independent, be everything that you've ever heard the dragonfly spirit to be. We'll get more into that. It is transition and insight. It is insight from the inner, your, your solar plex, your inner chakra, with the third eye opening. Also, you can see it as emerging from the dark headed towards the light. Very optimistic. Let's keep going. I have more to say about the Seven of Wands. You know, it's taking a lot of stamina to get through this point. And you might feel stuck. Like the Mars energy wants to move you forward. Neptune make, makes you all emotional. You need to keep that balanced. And of course, wow, amazing. There's an awakening. This literally is like a resurrection, um, ascending from the ashes. Beautiful. These two are magic magic you have transformed that is what your spirit guide wants to tell you over here you're looking at beginnings and feeling like it's going to take a lot of work to manifest this amazing thing that you're thinking about but your guides are telling you you're going to shed the old you're going to know what to do and it's very transformative. I know these cards are beautiful, aren't they? I feel you guys, I feel you. It's Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. So, um, what I feel also you're going through right now are choices, two choices probably. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups. Here are their shells. So you have choices and ambitions that will bring you harmony. And whether this is love, I'm not sure because this could be all of you. I really do think it's speaking directly to you, but this is how I feel you emotionally feel a bit stuck with choices, but you're ambitious. 
this panda guide is going to help you. What is the outcome beyond the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands right now? What is the outcome going to be by the new moon? Because this is like new renewal, enlightenment is coming. New moon. New moon. That's uh, November 6th, 7th, around that time. Okay, you guys? Can I? What's going to happen? What's next? Wow. Challenges and growth. Five of acorns. Challenges and growth. Let's look into this a little bit more. Because this is how you're going to get through this right now. It's fire energy. It's that Mars energy going to propel you forward and what you can understand about this time of challenge and growth with this leopard is the graceful leopard is a problem solver. What problems are you solving? Because that's what you are working on as you go through this awakening and working towards your goal. So what is blocking your goal? And this cougar has shape-shifting abilities to enhance her personal power. Does that resonate with any of you? In the midst of conflict, do not allow opposition to keep you moving from moving ahead in your endeavors, okay? We talked about that. Dig down deep. Know what you're wanting is not a pipe dream. And don't fight with anybody about it. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Trust in yourself. Defend your belief structures. understand that you're going to overcome this. So let's get one more spirit song throw and then we'll back it up a few more ways. Queen of Feathers, Queen of Swords, Perception and Truth. Perception and Truth with the bat. You're going to instinctively know what to do, how to resolve this conflict with the laser sonar ability, like a bat. That's what your spirit guides want you to know. You're transforming, you're working on something important that feels like a pipe dream but it's not and people may argue with you about it but do what's best for you I don't feel that that's bad advice for anybody being patient being thoughtful and graceful about how you're doing this being diplomatic you know making sure these planetary messages mesh and don't conflict and and oppose each other so don't let that inner fear bother you here's a question I think you should ask yourself when you see this, is what spiritual journey are you on that's going to move you forward? What is it you really want? And don't be afraid to ask for it. 
I think that's the only real challenge that you're having is within yourself about manifesting what you really want. If this is a work change, you're scared to do it. However, it's very transformative. The new moon is coming. It's a good time. So let's see next what Spirit Song Tarot has to say. Actually, I mean Light Sears Tarot. We did Spirit Song. Okay, so Light Sears Tarot. We need to clarify how we're feeling after this transformative change, what it's about, what is coming, and what our guides are telling us. Sounds like a lot for three rows, but as you can see, answers are coming in. Five again, five of cups. Okay. Interesting. I had to stop and just think about this. She is tipping the cup into this well. And you see how it's illuminating? That is the well within you. She's pouring her hopes and desires into this. Okay, you guys, I strongly feel this is about work, career, a major life choice for you. It's transformative. And we have the Ace of Pentacles. I think we had this before. Yes, Ace of Pentacles twice. And how are you feeling? So you really want to embrace this. It's divine, it's fate coming in. So you need to stop fighting it. Okay, if you stop fighting it, this is divinely coming in. We need messages from our guides to give us support. Aha, unbelievable. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. So our messages are getting validated, you guys. Look how happy she is. Wow, progress and motivation, unbelievably. That is what is coming. And happiness. Wow, you know what I see? No more two doves. One bird, she is just letting go to see if it comes back, feeling. If this is about love, it's that old adage about let it go. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. It's also about setting yourself free to follow your dreams. That's really, truly what I think. This is more about you transforming and sticking to what you want and not getting ugly about it. Don't forget, go back and look at the um, astrological oracle cards I mentioned. Fire and water, we have fire and water all over the place and earth. This really is a good message for all of us anyway. Go through changes, take our time, rest, take care of ourselves, trust our gut, and what do our guides want us to know? Mm -hmm. Nine of Wands. <clears throat> ah, oh, there's two here. I did not see that. Woo! Nine of Wands, you being very insightful. We have this also in this reading. We have nine of pentacles, nine of cups, nine of wands, lots of nines, progress and motivation, because again, you're going to have more messages coming in. 
You see the lion of strength there, Leo, fire energy again, but strength, inner strength, wisdom. He's not fighting with the wand. He's lighting his path. He knows what he wants. It's very much a um, you, divine male, divine feminine, together, or in unity if within yourself. You have the insight to do this transformation. Work, work on things towards this new moon and beyond. Remember these, look at them, dragonflies and lightning bugs, wherever you live, and bats. I saw some bats last night at sunset, fruit bats here where I live. Trust yourself, transform, step by step, work hard, work hard, don't give up, don't be scared, don't think of it as a pipe dream. You know what you need to do and it is divinely guided and bringing you joy. I do feel this is about your dreams and your goals and manifesting the love, the contentment, the things that you want in the big picture of life. And that is why the strength is needed to get through this transformative time. Okay, so now it is time to pull some runes and see what our ancestors are speaking to us, for us to wrap this message up. Please give me a like if you're here, if you followed through this video with me. That is all I really ask. If it does resonate, oh my God, let me know. Because the messages are repeated here so strongly speaking strongly to those of you connecting with me okay so one more thing will be the ancestral runes coming right up okay time to pull them from this this is a coconut shell isn't it so cool oh so beautiful it's so funny when you do tarot too and you, I start meaning to be in rows and the messages turn into this big vision board all over the table. I love it. So I'm just randomly going to grab two. I'm not looking. You can see better than I can see. So look, just think about it. Think about what you really want. What do you really want to let go of? What are you real? What are the messages coming in, please? Okay, I believe this is the root of cattle, and we're going to verify what these are. But I'm going to give you a look. And we'll dive into the messages right now. Hope you can see these still. I will hold them up in just a second. I'm going to get more information about these. The symbols are thousands of years old, dramatic, normatic language, often in um, carved in wood or stone. Obviously mine are wood. Okay, so first coming in <clears throat> is the rune of mystery. Okay, this is the world in Tarot. So what I mean by that 
is it is time to brew your own potion. That means take the mysteries in your life you thought you couldn't handle, you couldn't do, achieve, make your own recipe and start cooking. Take fate into your own hands. Is that upside down? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Take fate into your own hands and stir up something wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Universe guides God. Angels, thank you. It just feels so validated to be validated. <laughs> Okay, then we have the rune of the horse. This is actually the letter E, E was. This is Pertho, the letter P. This was the rune of mystery. Also represents Saturn. Saturn is opposing Uranus right now. Saturn reminds us I'm sorry, I'm speaking about this one. Of the traditions, the ways, our boundaries, sometimes our blocks that we need to get over. But it is also the world in Tarot. So that is the card just after the awakening. Beautiful. So now we have the rune of the horse here power of the journey. It represents lovers in Tarot, much like uh, the two of acorns, so to speak. So what you need to know about this is I told you to do a deep dive. Scorpio season, typically that will happen anyway. This is reminding you to do that. Dig deep into what you want and follow your intuition. It is possible you're gonna take some trips or are traveling through the holidays. It's representative of that. But more than that, it's really going on this journey within yourself and how you're going to think about trust, which we had here. <clears throat> Perception and truth. You need to be reminded of the bat as well as the rune of the horse. Because thinking about trust in yourself and in your relationships is going to help manifest these goals that you have. I hope that makes sense to you very, very much about wisdom and connection, destiny, change, whoa, change, growth, connection, harmony, teamwork, destiny, knowledge, revelations, and that divine I spoke of. So I just wanted to remind you how powerful those are in this reading. And that is where we're going to stop for today. I hope you'll come back for more messages. The timestamps will be included definitely in the description. Sometimes I'll additionally include them in the comment section where I hope you will give me a like, a comment, keep the support keeps me going, and I do hope you see this beautiful story, a message created here. I couldn't write this any better. It's just beautiful. 
So I wish you well, peace and love and light. And thank you for the support. Genuinely, genuinely, thank you.